So my name is Peter Semple and I'm the Chief Brand Officer of a company called Depop. Depop is a fashion marketplace, people buying and selling second-hand fashion. As Chief Brand Officer, I'm sort of ultimately responsible for how we show up in the world. What do we look like? What do we say? What do people take away from us? But ultimately, we're trying to teach the world to think differently about consumption behaviour and therefore the most kind of poignant enemy really is fast fashion. People used to come to secondhand for good pricing, but fast fashion is now cheaper in lots of cases and terrifyingly on trend. And you know, you buy it at four o'clock and it's on your doorstep the following morning. That is a lot that's very compelling, especially to young audiences. So we have to continually find ways to go, yes, but there's lots and lots of things you're buying into that are better than fast fashion. I think culture is actually ultimately driving, consciously or unconsciously, almost all of our choices on a day-to-day -day basis. The difficulty of trying to drive cultural conversation or inject yourself into it or hopefully provoke further conversation and you have to sort of really listen and really participate in the things that are being talked about in order to hopefully have something useful to contribute. I kind of love the idea that sort of the Gen Z reshaping everything, cultural values, social identity, all that sort of stuff. They're sort of so savvy and have obviously grown up with marketing and advertising and digital experience all around them. Advertising that masquerades as anything else will fall flat on them. Companies that resonate with them are ones that have a purpose or have a particular point of view or have a value. If you can show those things or you can show how you as a business can ultimately help them, they're interesting and receptive to it. The whole world has become digital and we're a digital platform, but nonetheless, you kind of just need to be out in people's lives. I live in London Fields and I love the fact that the billboard at the bottom of London Fields is, it's a cultural artifact in itself. You know, the people who advertise there are palace skateboards, print works, festivals. I think specifically for our young audience, yeah, they're on their phones a lot, but they're also out doing interesting stuff a lot and you need to show up where they're going to be. I think it's really important to know what question you're trying to answer. Like I think ultimately that makes a really good brief is if you have a really clear objective. And I remember this from my Google days, someone taught me like, there's always an answer to the brief that does the job you've been asked to do. And then you've had the confidence to go, but there's also this other thing that could also be super interesting. I feel like that's a really good way for agencies to work. And I kind of love that. Whenever I interview anyone, I ask them what music they're into, and I don't really care what the answer is. I want them to tell me excitedly why they're into that kind of music. It's kind of an interesting, good test of people and their ability to call it, communicate in a compelling way, which is ultimately kind of what marketing is. I've been a relentless fashion consumer for my life. Like, I've collected sneakers for more than 20 years. I've stopped doing that, and that's a good thing. <laughs> I think over the last 10 years, thankfully, we've all become a great deal more educated about the impact that our choices have and various other things that have sort of opened my eyes more so to the choices we can make. So if we do our job really well, we'll drive cultural change. So if lots of people adopt circularity, they will have less of a, a negative impact on the world. That's a pretty cool job to have.